I'm Claire Drake and here is a KVIN special feature for Volunteers Week, celebrating our last year adapting to virtual volunteering. Kirkley's Visual Impairment Network is a small charity where blind and partially sighted people get together to support each other through friendship and shared experiences. Also, they support each other in the use of technology designed to make their lives easier. Volunteers are central to our work at KVIN, providing valuable knowledge and insight to be able to support each other in our community. Hi, my name is Aisha and I've been a volunteer for the Kirklees Visual Impairment Network for around two years now. Before the pandemic hit, I used to volunteer at both our Dewsbury and Huddersfield drop-in sessions. I used to provide face-to-face -face peer support and I was just a general listening ear if anybody ever wanted to talk. Everything changed last March when the country went into lockdown and we had to find different ways to be able to provide support to our members. One of the ways we adapted to the pandemic was through the use of Zoom to be able to meet as a group socially. Our use of Zoom has developed over the course of the pandemic, with volunteers getting involved in a variety of themed groups, as well as hosting the groups themselves. Groups included a weekly crochet group, quiz nights, smartphone support, a book group and cooking. Volunteering virtually has been different but brilliant. I have learned how to host a Zoom session. Now I can do one by myself. I have loved joining anything Android. I have learned about different apps and features on my phone, which now I can show someone else if they are struggling. I love volunteering with KVIN, the Sight Loss Charity, because it's one of the friendliest and most positive groups I know. Their services enable a large community of service users, staff and volunteers to keep in touch and volunteers can also join in a wide range of activities alongside service users. By volunteering in lockdown, I've also learnt to use Zoom and used it hundreds of times so that it has now become second nature. So when I need to for other groups or, or for pieces of work, I'm confident enough now to use Teams or Webex too. Before I volunteered for the charity, I worked with two clients with sight loss, but by volunteering for the charity, I've now learnt a lot more about sight loss. As lockdown ends and people can meet up face to face again, the charity have lots of groups and events planned. I'd recommend anyone to volunteer with this positive, friendly group because you'll get so much more out of it. Thank you. The way I volunteer has changed quite a lot over the last year. I now mostly provide peer support using Zoom and also make regular welfare calls using the old fashioned telephone system. I really enjoy ringing people who are often alone just to check in and see how they're doing. Over the year, I've created quite a strong bond with some of the people I talk to. We often share stories about the good old days, share recipes and even what we're currently watching on the TV. Adapting to be able to provide technology support over the phone was quite a challenge that a number of volunteers tackle. And whilst this was quite a challenging task, positives could also be found. During lockdown, I've been volunteering virtually with KVN. I've been helping uh, people to use talking software on their iPhones and computers. There's been some challenges uh, in not being able to work face to face with people. Um, but on the upside, uh, we've still been able to share information uh, and troubleshoot over the telephone. Um, and uh, I think for me, it's given me something to do, uh, keep me busy during lockdown. And uh, with it being virtual, I found it more flexible than uh, during normal times uh, 
uh, and, and I think service users have found it really good because they can work it you know we, we can arrange sessions when when they're not working in the evenings or weekends which normally we couldn't do and uh, yeah I, I think I've learned a lot and uh, I've, I've found it a really worthwhile experience uh, and yeah a, a really great opportunity. At the beginning of lockdown, it was difficult to see how I would be able to continue doing what I had been doing face to face. However, it did not take long to, to find a way of doing it. And to all intents and purposes, it is very similar showing someone how to use an iPhone when you're on the phone, except that you can't actually touch the phone or make sure they're holding it in the right way. I've taught two or three people how to use iPhones over the last 12 months. I've also run a book group which has met monthly for the past five or six months. It was also important that we included people who didn't have smartphones to be able to stay connected. So we also started a number of telephone based groups. Volunteering with KVN over the last 12 months has been a really rewarding thing to do. We did the Zoom meetings which were really great for everybody to be together and in, in a group. But personally, I've really enjoyed the telephone groups which were, were set up and that's for people who aren't able to have a computer, a smartphone, a tablet and to make friendships and to hear people's life stories and some, some of the people who are in the group are 90 and they're such a fantastic sense of fun and they absolutely relish and enjoy the weekly phone calls and and I hope that these will continue for a long time. So I've really enjoyed doing all this, but especially the telephone groups. Hi, my name is Jules. I'm a volunteer for KVIN. I help run one of the telephone groups, which I'd just like to tell you briefly about because it is so rewarding and such good fun. The group is aimed at those people that are unable to um, connect with social media or with family via the internet using things like laptops and mobiles which they may not have. So this group is a telephone based group, a small group um, of service users with the average age of about 90. So uh, it makes me look quite young which is which is nice. Um, and when the first group first started it was fairly quiet and reserved. Now if you were to dial into that same group now and listen to the conversation it's brimming with laughter, friendship, life stories and experiences, and most importantly, positivity. And people look forward to, to dialing in every week. One of the ladies calls it her weekly constitution. Now, as we're coming out of lockdown and we're getting back to some kind of normal, for the, some of these service users, life isn't really going to change that much because they're still not going to be able to get out. So for me, I'd love to carry on doing these telephone um, chats each week because you can hear the smiles in the voices of the people taking part and that is priceless to me. On behalf of everyone at KVIN, we would like to thank our volunteers for embracing a new way of working through the pandemic. The individual contribution of all of our volunteers is most appreciated and without this help we wouldn't be able to support our community of blind and partially sighted people. I started volunteering with Kevin to do with some peer support because I had a lot of support from the others that were there and some tech support so I've started doing peer support and tech support, I'm looking forward to getting back to one group or two, maybe more in the future. Being able to volunteer during the pandemic has given me the opportunity to contribute something back to society during these challenging times. 
Thank you to KVIN for giving me the platform to be able to do this. It's kept me busy and it's kept me going over the last year. This has been a KVIN production. Thank you to everyone who has taken part. You can find out more about our organisation and how to volunteer for us by visiting our website www.kvin.org.uk